I want to share with you a, a project that I completed for a friend of mine on the internet. He had just watched the Carillon, the Shumeric Carillon Church Bells video. I'll put a link in the description and also put an information click here. If you haven't watched that video that I did back in the summer, I really would encourage you to watch it. It's a little bit of an unusual piece of equipment that I salvaged from a church here in the community. And it's a church bell system that was uh, developed in 1969 and installed at that location in 1972, somewhere in that range. And it played for several years without any issues. And then I started working there in the late, uh, mid to late 80s and uh, stayed on staff there for 30 plus years. And part of those years, I was responsible for maintaining that Shumeric Carillon system. So I became quite familiar with how to work on it. The video will reveal a little more of the technical side of that um, Carillon. In any case, a friend watched that video recently and um, asked me if I could produce a recording of the bells for him on a six minute sequence of of what was what is called a bell peel. Well, the Carillon is not really designed to do um, automatic bell peel um, other than just a couple of minutes of ringing one single bell. And so I thought for a minute and I thought, no, I can't do that. And then later I thought, well, I can do it. And you'll see in a moment how I was able to pull that off. And the reason I'm sharing with you uh, this file today is because it is really a unique file and an application for the Shulmeric Carillon. Shulmeric is still in business. I go into that a little bit in that other video if you want to watch it. Uh, it'll be worth your time to watch that video, get a feel for what that system can do. And even will play a, uh, a MIDI file that my son and I uh, MIDI file project that my son and I completed with the Carillon system. So it's really worth watching the video just for that part. So getting back to the bell peel, um, I'll show you what I did and how I was able to produce the bell peel. Pulled the six minute sequence of bells ringing randomly and then um, added a little bit of reverb and it really sounded great. I was really pleased with the final result and my friend was happy with the result as well. So I thought I would just share that with you today. Let's go look at the Carillon. Before we go and look at the Carillon, I wanted to show you what I did to record. Um, I did a, a video on the Sanjin DAR, Digital Audio Recorder Device, DAR 101. And this is a really nice digital recording device. It um, uh, will record to a uh, memory card and uh, it records line in, has a remote control, line out, microphone in. It does just about everything, does stereo. And I used the, the Sanjin DAR, DAR 101 to record directly out of the amplifier of the Carillon. So I did the recording of the actual bell strikes into the Sanjin and then took that file and edited it slightly, uh, cleaned it up the ends and added a little bit of reverb, cathedral reverb. So that's how this was done. And that's one simple application of using the Sanjin for projects like this. So now let's go look at the Carillon. Okay, we're at the Shomeri Carillon and Please watch the other video so that you can get a better feel for what this is all about. There's a scroll player down below here. And um, then this is the uh, amplifier system and the uh, bell peel system with the motor. We'll illustrate that in just a second. And then up here we have the clock and programmer and it runs programs. It'll play Westminster whatever you set on the clock. This is a clock face and there's little pins that go in and I won't go into all of that today. And then it'll also play the scroll player for music and play one or two or five songs, whatever you want it to do. Um, but this is what we're looking at today, the bell peel system. And this is where I created the bell peel. So we're gonna turn on the bells and the tower, which is the uh, loudspeaker outside. And we'll set it for strike 
Uh, we'll set the stripe for a toll to get the motion detector working here. And uh, these are the individual notes. And up here inside the cabinet are electromagnetic strikes that strike a bar. And each one of those bars is tuned for a particular note. So when I push a button, the strike hits that, that note. And that's the way that works. So this is designed to just play one note. So you select the note you want it to hit. And then when the motor is programmed to come on here, the bell will ring. for a predetermined amount of time. And that's the way it works. So it only plays one note. So, you know, in some churches they had one bell and the kids would pull on the rope and ring the bell, the church bell. I used to ride on the rope. I mentioned that in one of my other videos. I used to ride up and down the, the rope because the bell was so big and it was so heavy that it was strong enough to lift 50, 60 pounds on that big giant rope that we pulled and they would do a call to worship. So, you know, a minute or so before time for worship to start, the um, the deacons or somebody, the bell ringer, would pull on that rope and ring the church bell. Well, that's what this is du duplicating, but it does it electronically. And it's really ringing a bar that's a physical bar that rings like a bell. And then there's like a guitar pickup that picks up the vibration of that and puts it into an amplifier and sends it out the speaker. So that's what this is all about. So what I wanted, what the friend wanted was a bell peel that was ringing a bunch of bells randomly for six minutes. I don't know what he wanted six minutes for, but that's what he wanted. So that's what I did. I started pushing buttons randomly here and that's what you'll hear in this video with it playing.